So one day after a mask mandate was reinstated in St. Louis City and County, it will likely face a challenge tonight by some on the St. Louis County Council. Yes, the power of two's Chris Renier live in Clayton with a preview of what could become a heated meeting tonight. Chris, good morning to you. Blair, good morning to you. Marjorie, good morning to you as well. We are just outside the main county administration building here. This is where the county council is slated to meet at 630 tonight. County council member Tim Fitch is leading the opposition to the mask mandate, saying the move by county executive Dr. Sam Page violates a new state law. The new mask mandate went into effect in St. Louis City and County yesterday. It requires anyone five years and older to wear a mask in all indoor public spaces and on public transportation, regardless of your vaccination status. It also recommends that masks be worn in crowded outdoor public settings where there is close contact with other people who might not be fully vaccinated. There are some exceptions for people with certain medical conditions and when you're eating or drinking. Supporters of the mandate like Page and St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones say the mandate is all about public safety. They say rising COVID cases among younger people and the fast spreading Delta variant are reasons to implement the mandate now. But a new law signed by Governor Parson last month limits the ability of local leaders to enact public health orders. Fitch says Page should have come to the council first. Does the county executive have the authority or his public health director to issue these mandates? And the answer legally clearly is he does not. Creating distractions for political gain is short-sighted at best and life-threatening at worst. As some passionate supporters of the, past, of the previous president hold on tight to bombast and misinformation, we are laser focused on protecting the health and welfare of people in our communities. Other county council members are also expressing opposition to the new mask mandate. Council member Shalonda Webb releasing a statement saying she supports mask wearing but does not support the idea of a countywide mask mandate. And council member Mark Harder also telling our post dispatch partners that he is against the mandate as well. For now, live in Clayton, I'm Chris Renier.